Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My last video, uh, I went through the painting process of this lovely manor house on the edge of Broadway in the Cotswolds. Um, it was a lovely subject and I painted it from start to finish. Uh, and it's worth, if you've not seen, it's the video um, prior to this one. Um, but I deliberately left out the dormer windows in the roof. But what I want to do, I want to put them in there. Now, a lot of people say to me, when you're painting in watercolour, you can't change things. Well, there are limited things that you can do, and there's lots of things you can't do. Um, but in this instance, I can put them in. And this little short video, I want to show you how. Now pulled in a little closer so that you can actually see. Now I'm going to use a number six brush that points uh, when wet. And the first thing I need is to um, actually uh, produce the window areas. Now they were fairly high up. So with a damp brush, gently lift away the paint. Now, as you can see, the paint is lifting off. Now, because there's three, there's one in the middle, one in the center, like that. Take a bit of moisture off the brush and that will then lift off even more. So that's the first start of that window. Clean the brush, take a little moisture off of the brush. Then I'm going to put one there. There's three, as I say, so that's pretty easy. I always put the center one in if there's three first then you can balance the other two. And because the brush is just damp and not too wet, it's actually taking off color into the brush. It's, it's wanting to draw in more moisture. Clean the brush again and just lift away. If the brush is too wet, then it wouldn't work. So the brush has to be damped then we're going to have the other window here. It's quite an easy process, actually. Um, now, the paper I'm using is wood pulp paper. It's not the rag paper because that tends to stain. You can lift off, but it's not as easy. So, you know, that's Another reason why, because I'm, I use clean washers, I don't overlay colour too much. I don't actually need to paint in, um, uh, paint on uh, the cotton papers. I'm just going to get some tissue and just lift off the damp part of the paper. So that's the start of my windows. Now the next stage, I've mixed ultramarine blue with a touch of burnt umber in there. So it's a blue gray and the brush hasn't got too much moisture on, the, on it at the moment. And I'm just going to drag down and create the window impressions. There we are. So that's the glazed area. Now finally, all we need to do, I've mixed ultramarine with a touch of olizarin crimson with a little bit of that brown. I've gone into the same part of the palette and all we really need is the shadows. So the first shadow is down the right hand. I've got a uh, light coming from the right. So we're going down that right hand side and just a small bead down the left and all of a sudden we get the impression that we have a dormer roof so that is as simple as that and that's the reflection that's the shadow from the overhanging tiles 
that is all you need to do for the reflection of the overhanging tiles. Then a little bit more red going in the in the mix for this. Make it a little deeper and richer in colour, a bit more blue. There we go. Now, now we're painting the shadow from that that's actually cast on the roof. And that comes from there, across to there, and down the side. Comes right from that peak, that point there. The wider you make it, the more interesting that window appears. So we've got another one there like that. Leave a bead on there just to indicate a bit of the tile work. Like that. And just a little touch there. And that goes like that. And all of a sudden, those windows stand away from the roof. And then with this, just touch in across the top, down the right, give them a little bit of, of a relief. And there you have it. Three dormer windows put in, in a matter of minutes. Well, there you have it. That is a simple way of putting in windows when you've actually overpainted an area. Um, it was easy in as much as the windows are coming straight, straight towards us, but it could be done uh, at any angle, really. Um, and it's all a, really a matter of creating a lighter frame. And then it's just the shadow work. That's about all there is to it. Well, there's the scene with the dormer windows in. So it just shows you that you can make adjustments. Um, it's just knowing how to do it, really. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that um, little look at uh, how you can adjust uh, watercolours in a small way occasionally. If you've enjoyed that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, we'll see you all again very, very shortly. Thank you for watching.